Welcome back. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you a piece of software that I wish I had all along because I have downloaded so many PDF conversion softwares out there and I've tried to do really basic things that you thought were basic, such as infographics and trying to hyperlink specific areas of the image only to come out empty handed until I found this piece of software. So instead of trying to dish out hundreds of dollars on other pieces of software, I recommend this one right here. So I'm going to walk you through step by step the different options that you have. Now, if you go to a site called cutepdf.com, that's C U T E PDF.com, this is where you want to be. Now, as you can see here, the cute PDF writer, this is free. And what this allows you to do is allows you to turn your printer essentially into a PDF conversion software. So any, any type of word processing software, any internet browser, any software that allows you to print a document will allow you to convert that document into a PDF file. So how amazing is that? So that is free. Now, the problem with just this right here is that if you try to convert a document like I showed you earlier that has a hyperlink inside of it, the hyperlink will not pass over to the PDF file. So if you just want to convert files into PDFs, this is all you need. But in this case and in this video course, we want to convert our hyperlinks into PDF files that have working hyperlinks, right? So in order to do that, you do need to have the QPDF professional version. Now there are other softwares out here, such as the QPDF editor, which is free and the custom PDF converter. You don't really need this unless you are going to build a piece of software that you want to have the ability to convert PDFs. So really what it comes down to is to make this process work, you need to go ahead and download this. So click on free download and go ahead and install that. And then you will need the cute PDF professional. Now, as you can see here, typically it is 89 95. So typically it's about $90, but for now it's about 50 bucks. So who knows this could change as you're watching it. Uh, but overall, I, I do believe this is, is about the cheapest that I've seen for what you can do. Now, as you can see, you can, you can read through here, but I'm not going to read through, but basically you can do everything in part one. You can do everything as far as password protection, everything that WinZip can do. You can protect it. You can secure it. You can create hyperlinks using a drag and drop tool. So you can highlight a specific section, a specific image and convert that specific section into a hyperlink. And that is something that you cannot do without utilizing the Adobe Acrobat Pro. All right. So this is actually a big savings and I wish I had this software long, long ago. So I highly recommend this. Go ahead, download it and you can try it first if you want to and make sure it works on your computer. Now the downside with this is it only works with windows. It does not work with Mac. If this is the case, you will need to have something like WinZip if WinZip is compatible with Mac, or you will need to download the Adobe Acrobat Pro. But instead of dishing out the 400, 500 up front, you do have an option of getting the Adobe Creative version, which allows you to pay a very small monthly fee to download the software. So you can use that download it, pay us a very low monthly fee to utilize it when you need to, and you can use it as you wish. So that's just the only downside. Once you have installed the basic version of cute PDF, that will be on your system. And anytime you try to print something, I'll press control print here, click change. You'll actually see the cute PDF writer here. So anytime you can print something, you can turn that into a PDF file right here. Now, once you have the QPDF Pro version installed, when you press this, 
it'll automatically convert it to a PDF with working hyperlinks. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to show you an example. So I'm going to go over here to my test folder and I'm going to show you an infographic that I have turned into a PDF file. So this is a PDF file that I created with PictoChart, which is a infographic creator. And as you can see, I basically created this, this full on image and within the image itself, you can see here, it says click for all bonuses. Now within Microsoft Word, you can't hyperlink an area within an image, right? So in order to do that, you have to have QPDF Professional. Now to do this, if I click on commenting and I click on link tool, what this will allow me to do is it allow me to hyperlink a specific area of the image. Okay, so all you need to do is simply go down here and I have created this section to turn into a hyperlink. So all I need to do is drag and select this area with my mouse. Once that's done, it basically tells me that I can link them to a World Wide Web link, go to a remote page, open a file, or go to a page. So I'm going to do World Wide Web link, and we're going to do HTTP colon slash slash www dot, I'll just do google.com for the sake of simplicity. We'll click on OK, and we have hyperlinked this right here. I can also hyperlink specific things like specific areas. And you can't really do this with any other tool except for the pro version of the Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I can do the same thing here. Now I'm going to go back to the viewer. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And let's just go ahead and open this up here. And there we go. So you can see that I've hyperlinked this whole section. Now, if I move my mouse over this, you can see the hyperlink has disappeared. So how amazing is that? Now I did not do it to the second one, so it does not show that here. But if I click on this, if all works, it should go to google.com. And we can see that it does indeed go to google.com and it works perfectly. So there we go. Now, same thing with other PDF documents. You can use the same tool here to do that. And if you convert a document that already has hyperlinks that were created in Microsoft Word, it'll automatically create the hyperlinks for you so you don't have to do anything else. So you can do much more than that within QPDF Professional, but I'm not really going to cover that right now because this is really what we wanted to do, right? So with that said, you are done. You have a piece of software that is powerful. If you have a PC, if you have a Mac, unfortunately you will have to use the Adobe Acrobat Pro, which as long as you use the creative version, you can actually get away with spending less than about 20 bucks a month by just going that route. So with that said, let's move on to the next video and I'm going to show you step-by-step uh, what sites you can upload your PDF files to to get your backlinks to your PDF files and backlinking to the websites that you're promoting, the affiliate sites you're promoting, the, your review sites you're promoting, and get a boost in search engine ranking.